This time on Little Pottery Model Railway, I'm going to be unboxing the Bournemouth Bell. Well, before we get started, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything and it does help us support the channel. A friend of mine that I work with said, um, oh, you're into trains and things, aren't you? And I said, yeah. And they said, well, actually, we won, we won this, um, I've got a train or something, I don't know, at home or whatever it is. And we actually won it in a raffle years and years ago. I said, oh, bring it in, that'd be great. You know, do you, they said, do you want it? And I said, I'd love to have it, yeah, yeah, have a look. So I obviously thought it was just going to be sort of a, some little 040 starter train set or just a little loco that was falling to pieces or whatever. And they brought this in. I mean, look at it. Obviously, well, I assume because it was in a raffle, it was originally brand new and it's probably been kicking around their house for years and they've just moved it around. I missed some sort of tap, you know, sticker on here or something and uh, the box is a bit tatty. But um, I was a bit excited, to be honest with you. Um, now, if we look on it, it's a Bournemouth Bell and uh, you probably can't read the writing on there, but it's BR. 462 New Zealand Line Merchant Navy Class Locomotive. Uh, it's got a Pullman Second Class Brake Car, number 62, a Pullman First Class Parlour Car called Rosemary, and a Pullman Second Class Kitchen Car, number 169. Um, it says that the, so the Southern Railway Board introduced this, um, the All Pullman, the All Pullman Bournemouth Bell service between London and Waterloo and Southampton in 1931. The train was loaded initially with seven to ten Pullman cars, depending on the season. However, during the later days of the service, this number could be as many as 12. I don't think I'll be ever collecting that amount. With the changing times brought by, by electrification, the Bournemouth Bell service ceased in 1967, with the train by that time being pulled by a diesel locomotive. Additionally, Paul, additional Pullman cars are available to enhance this great train pack, it says. You can see it actually says, uh, 2300 Bournemouth Bell train pack, EMC test standard, length of Feb 03. So it's pretty old. Let's turn it over, see what's on the back. And you can see the full rake there, impressive. Opened it up, hadn't I? So a bit tatty on the box front, but that's to be not surprising, considering it's been moved around the house, probably been moved from house to house, I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Okay. Hmm. I'll put the box down over here and see what's on here. So we've got just a piece of card, strangely. Nothing on there. Got some odds and ends. I want to get my glasses on for this as well. Different parts sitting around there. Be very careful. Attach headboard to loco front using blue tack. Well, that's pretty nice, isn't it? Anyway, let's have a look. Looking nice. We've got the actual loco there. And then we've got the car number 62. Car number 169. Oh, and there's the, and there's Rosemary. Looking very, very nice. Very nice. Really pleased with this. Okay, so it doesn't look too bad either. I don't wonder if it's even run, ever. I don't think it has. Let's pop it out and have a look. So first of all, let's have a look at the cars. The carriages, sorry. I'm going to pull this out with this. Little hole in the back so you can push that out. Very delicate. Oh, just don't, it's 
just like there we go. What do we got here? Look at that. Really nice condition. And I like the way. Yeah, got spring loaded buffers, nice little feature. Very nice. Judging by the contacts, I assume, I'm hoping, that this actually lights up. If it does, I'm going to be super pleased. It's just gorgeous. Must have been new. Really nice. Let's check that one. Let's open some other ones up. Check them out where they are. So we've got the one coach there, that's Rosemary. This is car number 169. Let's have a look at this. Beautiful detail. Bits of foam there. Absolutely fantastic. Once again, you've got the contacts, you've got your sprung buffers. Very, very nice. I'm just liking this, liking this. Details lovely. Not a scratch on it, nothing. See inside there, just fantastic. So let's put that one down. Just blow some of the foam off of that. Really nice detail. It's lovely. Wow. That's car number 62. Like I say, I don't think I've got the space on my layout for the full set of coaches, but they'd be fine with these three. Now, let's have a look at the Loco. Well, tender. It's a nice detail there. Hornby. Coal looks quite decent. A bit shiny for my liking, but I can always put some dust on that. I've got some actual coal, so quite nice to do that. I want to weather it a bit. I'm always a bit, not very good at weathering, so I'm a little bit worried about doing such things. But, and here we go with the actual low car. It looks like it's never been used. So what a fantastic find, what an absolute beautiful thing. I've got Flying Scotsman, but this looks beautiful compared to that. Now the big downside for this is that I actually run a DCC system. So it's not going to be too easy to test it. Oops. It's come off, so that's a new fixing on. Not a big problem. And then the last one, in no particular order. I'm sure you'll agree, that is an absolutely fantastic, I'll say purchase, as a gift. So I'm really, really grateful to my friends for getting those. And let me have this, so we're well taken care of. I think what we need to do is, I will try at least, I've got to try the lights on the carriage.
Why do you have an eye? So I'll add that, and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Okay, it's the moment of truth here. I've just decided to put the carriages on the track. Okay, and then I'm going to turn my system on. That is really nice. Got the lights shine. The lights are on on each table. No lights on rosemary. This gives a little bit of a. Oh, there we are. Just imagine this been sitting around for so long. The contacts of slightly corroded, maybe. Okay. Well, that's going to be fine, isn't it? And then, well, oh, certainly roll nicely. We got into car number one six nine. Couldn't have asked for much better there. I was really pleased with those. Clean. No damage whatsoever that I can see. Little few little parts have come off. Coupling, as I mentioned, it'll need a bit of attention just to make sure it runs properly. But uh, other than that, very good. Now to the actual locomotive itself. Very, very nice. Lovely condition. Look at the detail on that. I think that is really nice. I'm no rivet counter, so I don't know if anything's accurate. Being honest with you, I just love the look of that. Look at all the pipes. Fantastic. Okay, I'm now going to test the uh, loco itself. Um, I did mention that I've got DCC system and I do not want to be putting it onto that track. You can, I've heard all sorts of things about whether you can damage the actual motors in these. So I will have to convert this to DCC to run it on my track. Uh, but what I can do is I've set up a little bit of a rig here. I don't have a rolling road. I'm still due to get, receive one of those. I might have to build one obviously just to do it a bit more on a budget. Uh, what I've got is I've got my uh, track cleaner, my sorry, wheel cleaner, which I've collect up, connected up to a supply, which means I can test this. I put it up to like 9.8 volts just to sort of get it to uh, moving along a little bit. Let's see how it goes. Seems pretty smooth. Fantastic. You know I'm going to have to put the voltage up for all, haven't I? I've got to do it, haven't I? Let's put that up to. Well, I won't put it at four. Just stay at twelve. That'll do. Just see what else we can. Looks nice, doesn't it? Fantastic. Can't wait to try that out. Just something to stop it rolling off. I just wanted to see it. Very nice. A little bit of corrosion on the, uh, some of the metal parts there. Other than that. Very nice. A 
I couldn't resist putting the train onto the track just to see what it looked like. As I've said, it is a DC loco and I have a DCC system running on a JMRI, so uh, I really couldn't resist it. So I won't be turning this on with the engine on the track, so therefore the lights are not on either in the dining areas. Very, very nice. Can't wait to do the conversion. Better order myself a uh, decoder to do the job. Um, so do keep watching the channel just to see. I might put the actual decoder upgrade on as a one of the videos, but I'll certainly be running this train in the future on one of my running sessions. So uh, keep watching to keep up to date with that. The Bournemouth Bell, a Merchant Navy class, 462, absolutely beautiful. I'm so pleased that I got this. We'll be doing a conversion. Keep tuned, keep watching. Okay, there we have it. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time on Little Pottering Model Railway. <laughs>